Hi everyone and welcome back to my channel. I'm Lottie and today we're going to do a 45 minute Pilates routine. Um, so let's get started. We're going to start in a cross-legged position or a frog position is absolutely fine as well. And we're just going to start by lengthening up through the back. So sit in nice and tall. Now if you want to sit on a block or a cushion just to give your hips a little bit more space and if you are struggling to sit up really tall this morning then that can sometimes help. So we're just going to start to find that lovely upright spine. So it's kind of like you're sitting up against the wall behind you. And so you want to, you can even do that if you actually have a wall. And then it's quite a good way to get a little bit of feedback just to make sure you're really sitting upright. So let's just start with some shoulder shrugs. So we're going to inhale, let the shoulders rise up by the ears. And we're going to exhale, release them down, relax and let go of any tension. Let's do two more. Inhale, the shoulders shrug up. And exhale, release the shoulders. Feel the neck getting taller as those shoulders go down. Let's do one more. Inhale. Full breath into the ribcage. Exhale as those shoulders slide down, grow tall through the neck. We're going to reach the arms forwards. I'm just going to do some protraction and retraction of the scapula. So we're going to inhale, reach the hands forward, like you're trying to touch something in front of you. And then we're going to exhale, slide the shoulders back like you're trying to pinch something behind you. So I'll show you from the side so you can get a, a little look. So we're going to round the shoulders forwards and then draw the shoulders back like you're trying to pinch the shoulders together. There's a little cat outside. So we're going to pull the shoulders around, protracting, and then what we call retracting, it's like you're trying to squeeze between the shoulder blades. One more, so just, this is going to really help us with some spinal movements as well. And release and pull the shoulders back. Lovely, let's move on to all fours. So just coming around to all fours, hands under the shoulders, knees underneath the hips. And we're going to start to get the spine moving now. So coming into your cat, tuck the pelvis underneath you, curving through the spine, looking back towards the knees. And then from there, lengthen back. So it's kind of like that protraction of the shoulders. So lengthen into a little bit of an arch, tip the tailbone back, lift the chest out in front of you. And again, around the spine, breathing out as we mobilize. And breathing in as we lengthen out. And gently arch, and let's do one more. So just getting that spine moving, feeling into the vertebrae, starting to feel a sense of work around your abdominals. Good, come back to a nice and neutral position. We're going to do a little hover to downward dog, so start to fire up the core. So tuck the toes under. We're going to hover the knees just an inch off the mat. So flat back, tummy in. And then just start to straighten the legs. So pushing back into a down stretch. You don't have to get your heels down on the floor. Just start to feel into the hamstrings and the spine lengthening up. Pushing back a little bit between the shoulders, warming up through those shoulders. And then we're going to come back to that hover position. So knees come down, just hovering off the mat, belly button pulled in. And again, pushing back from that hover to the down stretch, pushing the mat away. And then just coming back, hovering, if you can, knees just off. And again, tailbone up to the ceiling, press back through the hamstrings and back down to that hover, scoop through the navel. We've got two more. Come into that lovely flat back as you come down. Send the sit bones up to push back, scoop through the tummy. And gently coming down. Hovering just off, last one. Belly button in. Now this time we're going to do a little ripple, a little wave to a plank. So maybe walk the hands a little bit further forwards. 
Start to round like that cat stretch. The hips are gonna come down and you're gonna come into your plank. So you might need to adjust your feet and your hands a little bit. And then push the sit bones up and back into that down stretch. And again, wave through the hips. Hips come down first. Ripple through the spine, scoop through the navel into that plank position. Strong, warm up the core, the shoulders, the hamstrings, and the spine. Push back that down stretch. And again, start from the tailbone. It's like a little ripple, tailbone, lower back, mid back, shoulders, neck and head. Looking forwards and send the sit bones up and back. Let's do one more. Lengthen those hamstrings and again, round from the hips. Now we're going to hold this plank, just push back through the heels, reach forwards through the front of the head, scoop through the tummy, draw the shoulders down for five, four, three, two, press the mat away, one, and well done, bring those knees in. Great work guys, so let's come around to a seated position. Great, so we're in this seated position and we're going to have the feet hip distance apart, knees and hips in line, so not too wide, you want to be more the inner part of the hips. And we're going to put the hands behind the backs of your thighs, elbows out to the side, and use your, use your hands to help you sit upright. So I'm kind of using a little bit of resistance, pulling in my biceps to thigh up a little bit. So I am working the arms just a little bit to start with, just to sit nice and tall. Now I'm going to try and get the heels stuck down exactly where they are. I'm going to draw the navel towards the spine and come into our little half roll back pelvic cow. So wrapping through the waist, scooping through the tummy, the arms start to straighten. Try and keep those shoulders down away from the ears. And then we curve forwards, shoulders over the hips and sit nice and tall. Okay, so if you've done a few of my classes, you, there's a few things that come up. You know, again, you've got your half rollbacks in most classes that I, a lot of classes that I teach. And how the curls always come up. So some of these movements, hopefully you're getting more familiar with. Okay, and it's all about the mobility through the spine, the articulation through the spine, as well as working those deep abdominal muscles. At the same time, exhale to roll back. We come up. Now we're gonna get the obliques involved now. So let's go back. We're going to take the hands off if you can, okay? Option you can stay holding on. We're going to take the right hand over to the left, so a little twist, and then inhale, centre. Exhale, left to right, inhale, centre. So we just do a tiny, it's not too big, you know, it's just a tiny 45 degree rotation. And I can already see that my knees and hips are starting to move as well. So I'm going to make sure that they're not moving as much as I can. Try and keep the pelvis and the knees still. Lots to think about. When one part of the body starts to move, all the other parts of the body want to get involved. But a lot of what we're doing is learning to stabilize one part of the body and mobilize another part of the body so that we build up some strength and balance through the muscles and the joints. Let's come back to the center. We're going to go down an inch and hold. Feel those abs. So keep pulling in. You can hold onto the legs if that helps. Sometimes it helps you kind of get that scoop again and hold. Take the hands off. Let's go back an inch more and then we're going to come all the way down. So just let yourself come all the way down and then just scoot yourself onto your mat a little bit. You might need to just adjust slightly. So let's just come into some hip rolls. So we're going to bring the feet and knees together. Just keep the feet on the mat today for these first ones. We're going to bring the arms out to the side into a V, palms up today. And we're gonna just inhale, tip the knees over to the right. So the left hip will lift up. Exhale, draw through the center, that wrapping in knees back to the middle. So just focusing on squeezing the inner thighs together. And then wrapping through the waist as you come back. And rotate, get a lovely rotation through that lumbar spine and exhale to pull in. So keeping the pelvis nice and level, but just tipping it over to one side. 
Start to really fill up the ribs, the lungs as you breathe. Coming back to the center, let's do one more to rotate. And coming back to the center, good job guys. Okay, so let's bring the feet to hip distance apart and parallel. Arms down by the side, we're gonna come into our pelvic curls. So shoulders drawing down, press into the arms. Take an inhale as you exhale, press the lower back into the mat and start to peel the hips up. Squeeze your glutes and hamstrings. Open through the front of the pelvis. As you come up, you want that lovely straight line, knees, hips, and shoulders. From there, we're going to take an inhale, arms reach up above the shoulders. Exhale, arms are gonna reach back by the ears. So keep the hips lifted, and I'm gonna bring the arms, inhale, back above the shoulders. Exhale, arms go back by the ears. Keep the squeeze in your glutes, keep them nice and level. And inhale, arms up. Try and get them to move at the same time. I know that sounds weird, but sometimes one arm just has a little mind of its own. It goes quicker than the other one. So we're just going to use our concentration and our awareness to try and feel that both arms are moving evenly. And another way you can practice that is by holding a, a band or a towel or something and just keeping it really straight and level across the hands. Good, now this one, we're gonna reach the arms back, hold it there, and start to come down. Down, down, down. Now, as we go down, we're gonna lift the arms again, nod the chin to the chest, and curl the tips of the shoulders up. So it's like a little seesaw. As the bottom goes down, the tips of the shoulders come up. And then we're gonna press the low back into the mat and start to roll the bottom up as we come back to that bridge and reach the arms back, okay? So we roll down through the spine. At the same time, simultaneously, the arms lift, the bottom goes back, we nod the chin and we curl up. So we're really getting a really nice kind of massage for the spine, mobilizing into that chest lift. And then we press the back down, we curl up. As those arms lift, all the way back. Now this time we're going to go down again. We're going to curl up through the upper body, get the bottom right down, lift the tips of the shoulders up. From there, guys, we're going to float the legs to our tabletop position and go into a hundred. So let's go feet together, knees together today and just start to beat the arms as we inhale, two, three, four, five, exhale, two, three, four, five, inhale, two, three, four, five, exhale, two, three, four, five, inhale, two, three, four, five, try and curl up, more, two, three, four, five. Option to keep the legs where they are, or next time you exhale, stretch the legs up, two, three, four, five, inhale, bend, two, three, four, five. Now stretch the legs out, two, three, four, five, and in, two, three, four, five. Up, two, three, four, five, bend, two, three, four, five, out, two, three, four, five, in, two, three, four, five, last one, up, two, three, four, five, bend, two, three, four, five, out, two, three, four, five, in, two, three, four, five, hold, hold on to the backs of those legs, and just start to push up, press the thighs into the hands, tip forwards, tip forwards, find this little boat kind of biting position and then just come all the way up to seated. Let the knees drop apart, sit tall through the body and then just round forward, take a little release. Inhale, exhale. Good work guys. One more deep breath. And then just regather everything in. Now we're going to take ourselves into like a kind of variation of the roll up and building up to some teaser work as well. So we're going to lay back down, nice and straight. We're going to stretch the legs out, stretch the arms back by the ears. Now we're going to start to do a roll up. So lift the arms just like we did before. This time we're peeling the spine up into our roll up. At the same time, the knees are going to draw in and we're gonna come into this little kind of rolling like a ball position. So feet come in as close to you as you can, arms are gonna reach forwards, rounded spine, and then we peel it back. The legs slide away along the mat. You've got that lovely feedback from the mat and the arms reach back by the ears. 
So we come up again, nod the chin, press through the lower spine as you pull in knees to chest, getting nice and tight into that ball shape. And we come down, slowly down, peel the back down, vertebrae by vertebrae, arms reach back. Okay, let's do four more. Three. Scoop it in. And sliding back, shoulders away from the ears. Reach through those heels. Two. Knees as close to the chest as you can. Control it back. All about stability. All about controlling. Last one. Nice and tight into that position. Now take hold of your right shin with both hands. Start to rock back. Left leg is going to extend out to about 45 degrees. We're coming into our single leg stretch. So right knee in towards the chest. Get that lovely hip flexor. Uh, getting a nice bit of mobility in that hip flexor. And then we're going to change to the left. Draw the left knee in. Slow to start with right knee in. Elbows wide. Left knee in, reach out through that right leg as the left knee is in, and change. Flexing through the hips and change. Scooping through the tummy, keep the chest lifted. Good work, let's do a little bit quicker just for 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, and one, bring it back to the center, both knees in. Let's go hands behind the head, interlace the hands behind the head. Keep the chest lifted if you can. Stretch those legs up, belly button drawing towards the spine, lower just the right leg down. Inhale, lift. Left leg down. Inhale, lift. So alternating those leg lower, single leg lower, and lift. Draw the navel down towards the spine. Oh, it's hard to talk when I'm doing this. Keep the chest lifted, hands supporting the head and heavy, heavy head in the hands. Reach through that leg. And let's do one more on each side if you can. Reach and lift. Belly button to spine and reach and lift. Good job, guys. Let's relax it down and breathe. Okay, so we're going to place the feet back onto the mat. Now, going to bring the feet and knees together, we're going to do a little bridge, single leg bridge variation, but we're going to have the feet together, the knees together, and we're going to extend the right leg out. So the knees stay super glued together. The right leg is out, and we're going to come into a bridge. So this time we keep the pelvis nice and level, and we just bridge the hips up, but the knees stay together. So you're coming into this long line, and the legs arrow together. Now I'm going to do a little circle with that leg, so it's going to come up above the hip, it's going to come out on a diagonal, and it's going to circle around back to the knee, and then we come down, okay? So we're going to bridge up, lift the leg, take it out to the side, little circle, knees back together, and down. Okay, so lots going on here. Stability, working the glutes, mobilizing the hips, Circle together and down. That's three. We've got two more. Lift, lift the leg. Just a little bit on the diagonal. Circle it back together and down. Last one. Try not to cheat that circle. Navel to spine. Lift out to the side. Little circle in. We hold it there. Now reach through that leg. Hold, hold, hold. It's like a it's shooting forwards all the way up. Squeeze those inner thighs together. Little pulse over the hips for five. Four, three, two, one. Bring that foot down. Squeeze those heels together. The thighs are still together. We're going to lift the heels and lower. And lift and lower. Exhale, lift, squeeze and lower. Exhale, lift, squeeze those sides. I want them to be pressing together like you're squeezing a piece of paper between those inner thighs. Last five. Squeeze those glutes. Good job, guys. Four whew, and three. Keep squeezing, don't forget. And two, rise onto those heels. Good job. Last one. And we lower 
down. But we're not done yet because we're going to extend the left leg out. We're going to bridge up. And it's very tempting as you bridge to kind of let the leg do its own little thing. So we want to keep the knees together. Lift. And then we're going to lift the leg. Do a little circle. Not too big, remember, because we want to keep the pelvis stable. Bring it back to the knee and down. Okay, fine with these. We lift. Lift the leg, mini little circle together and down. Keep breathing. Lift three more. Lift the leg, mini little circle, leg together and down. Last two. Press into those arms. Navel still working towards the spine. Squeeze the glutes and down. Good job, guys. Last one. Lift those hips, squeeze the bottom. Lift the leg, take it out. Circle it around and hold for five, four, keep breathing, squeeze, press into that right heel. Now bring the, the foot back down to the feet, back onto the mat, legs squeezing together, squeeze up. We've got those heel raises again, just for eight, seven, squeeze the inner thighs, six, lengthen the lower back, five, heels together if you can, four, three, keep breathing, good job, two, Last one, and then come down all the way back to the mats. Well done. So just hug the knees in. Oh, I can feel my inner thighs and hamstrings, and just give them a little rock in towards you. So let's just do the double leg stretch before we then come onto into some sideline work. So we're going to bring the legs back to tabletop position. And we're going to curl back up again. So reach the hands just above the knees. Let's nod the chin to the chest, curl the tips of the shoulders up, and then just hold onto the shins. So hands holding onto the shins. We're going to keep the knees together, scoop the navel towards the spine. Now, first of all, just stretch arms and legs up to the ceiling. Now you do a little circle with your arms, but keep the legs together, bend the knees, hold back on. Okay? So keep the chest lifted, can you curl up higher? Arms and legs stretch up to the ceiling. Do a little mini circle with the arms, bend the knees, hold back on. Whew, sweep through the tummy. Four more, try and lower the legs if you can. Arms and legs for four, little circle in. For three, little circle in. For two, little circle in. Last one, little circle in, lift higher, and relax down, hug the knees, release. Give yourself a little rock, left to right. Okay, we're gonna come into some side lying work. We're gonna be working, let me just rock up. So hands behind the thighs, let's rock ourselves up. We will come back um, to do a few little stretches in a bit at the end, but let's just come in onto the side. When we work in the waist, we're gonna be working the inner thigh and the hips as well. So the first one, we're just gonna come down onto the hand behind the head. We're gonna do a little dev lib hey. So it's a, that's the French word for unfold, I think, if I remember correctly from my ballet days. So, we're going to come here, we're gonna have the hand behind the head. Now you can always lay completely flat if that feels more comfortable, pop a cushion under the head, just whatever keeps your lovely alignment through your body. So we're going to turn the top leg out, draw a little line with the leg up, with the foot up the other leg, we're going to open the leg up towards the ceiling, so unfold, développe, flex the foot, and lower it down, okay? So keep the navel to spine, keep the waist nice and active, the leg draws up, we stretch, flex, and down, okay? We've got eight of these, there's six more. Sliding up, keep the waist active, so we're working through the outside of the hip, the inner thigh, lovely long, lean muscles, and coming up, remember to count, Lottie, let's do four more. <laughs> so you're coming up for four, unfold, keep the pelvis as stable as you can for three, flex, get that lovely articulation through the foot, last two. Good, last one. Flex and down. I'm going to do like a little semicircle with the leg, a little rainbow. So we're going to lift the leg up. Let's point the foot. Slightly turned out. So it's a little bit of external rotation. We're going to tap the front. Little mini circle and tap the back. Try and keep the body nice and still. So we're going to really think the focus here. Tap the front. Lift. Tap the back. Lift. Tap the front. Lift. 
tap the back, lift for six, for five, breathe for four, for three, reach through that leg for two, good job guys, last one, well done, bring it up, bring it down, bring it up, bring it down, just tiny little leg lifts, just up and down, and really get into the firing up through those glutes for five, for four, in that turn out position, for three, keep that waist lifted and long, for two, for one, we hold, we do mini circles, oh this one is hard to keep the stability, for five, for four, for three, this hand can support in front, for two, and one, reverse, for five, imagine that leg is being pulled away from you, four, three, keep the pelvis nice and still, two, pull it out, keep the control, last one, and relax it down, well done guys, just bring that knee now, in front of your, your body, oh, that should feel quite nice, because we've worked that butt a little bit, so the other leg is down and away from you, now you can always rest something under this knee as well, just to give it a little bit of extra lift and padding, so the other leg is reaching down, we're going to work through the inner thigh, you can always lay flat, remember, so we're going to flex that foot, we lift and lower the other leg, it's going to stay parallel, so little inner thigh raises, Try and again keeping the pelvis nice and stable. Well done. Doing really well. Keep that lift. Five. Keep breathing, guys. Four. Three. Working through that body. Two. Now hold it on the last one, little ups and downs, just for 10, 9, little pulses, 8, 7, ow, 6, keep going, 5, you can do it, 4, 3, 2, now hold it there for one point, the foot, we've got 5 circles, 5, 4, 3, keep lengthening, 2, lengthen that leg out, 1, reverse for 5, 4, 3, 2, 1, and recover, relax that leg down. Good job guys, so final little thing here, we're going to bring both knees into a bent position. We're gonna take that hand that was behind your head or that you were laying on, and we're gonna bring it underneath your body, so like you're giving yourself a little bit of a hug. The other hand is gonna come in front. Now this is where we're gonna work the arm a little bit, we're gonna work the waist, it's kind of like a little side sit up. So hand comes in front of the chest, you can lay completely flat, or you can have a cushion under your head, or just start in this little length and neutral position. Now we're going to come up into like a little push and down. So I'm pushing through that arm, working the tricep, bicep, through that arm that's supporting me, and working the waist here, up and down. You're going to try not to go forwards, just keep it to the side. Let's do four more, so six in total, four. Keep the legs nice and still. This is a really hard one. Last three. Good, working that shoulder down, last two. In for that little side lift. Good job, guys, let's do one more. Let's try it. a little lift, last one, yes. And bring it all the way down, good. Okay, so let's just push up. We have to do the exact same movement again to help ourselves push up. See, this is how functional Pilates is, getting you ready for coming up and down off the floor. So let's spin the legs around the other way. We'll keep that sequence on the other side or you can just turn to face the other side. So let's come down, first of all we've got the de lopez. So coming down, hands underneath the head. Make sure we've got enough room here. So legs are gonna be out straight. And we're going to do our little unfolding. So keep that little lift underneath the side of the waist. We're gonna take the leg up, so you draw a little line up with the foot to the knee. We unfold, flex, and lower it down like it's being pulled out of the hip. Draw it up, keep supporting the head, unfold, flex, pull that leg away. Good, so keeping calm as we work strong through these exercises. Good, nice dorsiflexion and pull that leg away. Try and keep connected navel drawing towards the spine. 
flex and reach. Pull that leg out of the hip, last two. Keeping that little bit of external rotation. Last one. Well done. Now we lift the leg up, we're gonna do a little rainbow. So we tap the front of the mat, we rainbow it up, we tap the back. Now this is really hard to keep the body really still. You're gonna to wanna to rock and roll around. So get a little bit more abs switched on for four, for three, Try not to rush for two. Really hard balance. Last one. Let's come to the center and we go down and up. Just up and down, nice and straight for eight. Keeping the turn out. Seven, reach the leg away. Six, reach the leg away. Five, reach. Four, reach. Three, reach. Squeeze the glutes. Two, Reach, last one. We hold, we've got the five circles for five. Nice and stable, four. Reach the leg away, three. Squeeze the bottom, two. One, let's reverse, five. From that hip joint, four. Reach it out, three, two, one. And rest it down. Good, okay, so bring the knee in front of you. We've got the inner thigh on the other leg. So we might want to scoop that underneath leg back a little bit, flex the ankle and we lift and lower, lift and lower, shoulders down, support the pelvis, breathe in, five, Oh, it feels so nice in this top hip, doesn't it? Three, two, hold for one, little ups and downs, eight, seven, six, five, squeeze, four, reach away, three, two, one, little circles, let's point, five, four, three, two, one, reverse for five. For four, I'm able to slide three, for two, for one, and relax. Good, okay, we've got the little side sit up, arm press on the other side. So that arm that you were laying on is gonna wrap under you, bend both knees up, hand in front, I'm gonna work through that arm. So we're gonna do our little lift, like you're gonna, it's exactly like you would do if you were gonna sit up. Oh yeah, working into that arm. Let's do four more, navel to spine, four. Try not to collapse down like I just did on that one. Last three, even if it's just a small movement. Two, I feel like this is my harder side. Last one. So sometimes we have one side that's stronger than the other for some reason, so it really shows up on that one. So let's come all the way up. Ooh, lovely. So continuing to work the arms, we're going to do a little tricep section. So, if we come to our back support position, so we're going to have the knees bent <clears throat> about hip width apart, and we're going to have the hands behind us as if we were going to do our leg pull back. And we're going to stand into the feet, scoop through the tummy, roll the shoulders away from the ears, and we're going to lift up through the hips. So, navel to spine, lift up. Don't have to come super high for this one because we're going to be working the triceps. So roll the shoulders away, lift those hips. We're going to do a little bend of the elbows and stretch. So a little tricep dip, bend and stretch. Keep tucking the pelvis under. Let's do five, four, three. Try and get the elbows to go back behind you for two. And last one. Good, let's bring the hips down, have a little break, and then we're gonna do five with the right leg lifted, and then five with the left leg lifted. So take an inhale, exhale, lift. Now if it's too much with the leg lifted, then you can always keep both feet down, but let's try pressing to the left foot, right leg into a little tabletop position, and we go for five, four, push away, three, elbows go back. 
Oh yes, we're going to shoulders two and one. Good job guys, place that foot down, realign the hips, lift the left knee to tabletop. Five more, five nearly there. You can do it, four. Breathe, three, two. Oh, it's burning those arms. Last one, yes. And place the foot down and then gently lower the bottom down. Come off the wrists and the elbows. Elbows? We're not on the elbows. Come off the wrists and the hands. Just gently. So feel, bit, feel a little bit extreme to come out of that position. Just round forwards. Let the shoulders curve. Okay, so let's just come to this seated position and take the legs about the width of the mat. We're going to roll the chest and shoulders open and sit nice and tall. We're going to reach the arms in front of us and just start to round down. Nice spine stretch forwards just to regather. Draw the navel towards the spine. It's like you're curving over a big beach ball. So reaching your hands past your feet. All the way, reaching forwards. Nice exhale. You can let the hands rest down if that feels nice. Take three deep breaths. Do forwards fold. And then just slowly start to come up. Press into those legs. Gathering up through the abdominals. Bringing the head all the way up. Last. Lovely. Let's reach the arms out to the sides. And just bring the soles of the feet together. So I'll just show you from the front. We'll just take a little side stretch. So the right arm is going to come up by the ear. Left arm down. Melt the elbow. And get into that waist. That should feel nice. Try and keep the opposite sit bone down. Little side stretch before we go into our last section. So lift tall through the body, and then left arm is going to come over. Good. So we've got our last little section now. Coming up, so we're ready to work hard for the last little bit. So we're going to come back onto all fours. We're going to get nice and strong through the core, work through the hips and through into a side plank as well. So come back onto all fours, nice and controlled. Just going to take right leg, slide right leg away, left arm pull in through the tummy, left arm is going to reach up and out. So just that lovely opposite arm and leg connection, think opposite shoulder to opposite hip, both hips facing down. Reach through that back leg. Good work guys. Now from here, bring the hand back down, bring the knee back down, and we're going to do the other side. So left leg is going to extend away, just nice and simple to start with. Shoulders square, just going to find that stability on all fours. Right arm, left leg extends away. Keep both hips and shoulders facing the mat, and bring the hand and the knee back down. Good, one more on each side. So just finding control, balance, calm, breathing. And left leg, right arm reaching out. Feel as if the arm and leg are being pulled away, but you're keeping the wrapping through the trunk, through the waist, long neck. And bring the hand and knee back in. Now, just the right leg is gonna extend out. We're going to turn on the left knee, so just be careful as you spiral to face the side. We're going to lift up through that top hand, so that we're trying to touch the ceiling. We're going to push the hips forwards. Now from here, we're going to lift the right leg up, so a little side kick. We're going to bring it down, and we're going to step the left leg behind the right leg into our side plank. We're going to lift the hips a little bit higher and come into a Big side stretch, so it's like a mermaid position, big side bend. Reach back to that side plank, bring the knee back down, and then turn back to face the mat. Okay, we're going to do the other side, so bring the knee in. So we're going to take the left leg behind. We're going to spiral that right shin, so I'm going to have my back to you. We're going to bring that right hand slightly forwards, open to the side. Lift the leg, a little side kick. Step it down. Step the other leg behind, lift high through those hips, side mermaid position, come back to the side plank, knee comes down, gently return it back and face forward. So let's do one more on each side. So right leg, turn to the side, open up, we lift, lower, step it back, 
lift higher, back to side plank, gently knee down, turn and face back, good, really working strong through that waist, through that core, other side, opening out, side kick, lower, leg behind into that side plank, we lift higher, navel in, back to side plank, strong shoulders, knee comes down, turn back to face the mat, Good job guys, come all the way back to that position. Good, from here we're gonna step into our plank and we're just gonna go side plank to side plank, alternating between the two and then little side leg lifts to finish off. So, coming into your plank position now, navel to spine, step the legs back, really nice and strong hips down. One hand comes to the center, we turn to face the side, opening up, back to the plank, okay? Turn to face the side, Push the mat away, back to that plank, four more, four, control, three, taking your time, scoot through the navel, last two, good job guys, nice strong upper body, last one, now we come back to face the side, we bring the underneath knee down and we've got side lifts for eight, seven, six, kick that leg, five, push the hips forwards, four, breathe, three, two, and one, facing back to the mat, and we go on to the other side, hand comes into the centre, we've got five, four, three, kicking that leg with control, two, one, good job guys, come back to face the front and let's just sit back onto the heels. So a nice child's pose, walk the hands to the front, just sit back, give the hips a little wiggle. And we're going to come into a nice thread the needle. So just gently moving back onto your hands and knees. We're going to take the right hand under, thread the arm through, rotate through the thoracic spine. Back to the centre, hand down. Left hand through, just a little alternating. Oh, that feels nice through that thoracic spine. Try and keep the pelvis where it is, just one more to each side. Rotating through. And coming back, lovely. And then just finishing as we started with a little cat and extension, mobilizing, stretching through the spine. Draw the shoulders down. Last one, rounding. And extending out. And we just find a nice neutral position. And just come into a seated position back on your heels, or you can sit on your bottom, sitting cross legged. Just find that lovely upright, let the hands just rest comfortably in your lap. And again, as we started, we're going to inhale, let the shoulders just rise up. And exhale, release them down away from the ears. Whew letting go of that tension. So hopefully you're feeling nice and strong through that body. We really kind of built it up. We did some nice fundamentals, but also worked pretty hard. So I hope that you enjoyed that and you're feeling really good and strong. And I will see you again in another video very soon. Please do subscribe um, to the channel and comment, leave a little comment up below and let me know if you enjoyed the workout. Also let me know what other kind of videos you want to see. Thank you so much for all your support on the channel and I will see you again soon. Bye!